right now at six o'clock, a weather watch alert for the first widespread plowable snow of the season as February winds down. We'll talk about it coming up. And we're going to share some reminders for how you can stay safe on the roads ahead of the upcoming winter storm. And we're going to share what's being done to help students impacted by Stone Academy's closure so they can find new opportunities. All local, all morning. This is Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. First at six, we are on a weather watch alert for snow late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us this Monday. I'm Erica Arias. And I'm Tim Lambers. Yes, good morning. Keep in mind, it's quiet right now. Not mm -hmm. a lot to talk about for the day. You're right into work, you're right out of work, but it's going to uh, start picking up this evening. Uh, yeah, how much so are we going to get? Much more on the timing. And like Tim said, what are we going to expect as far as, you know, measurable mm -hmm. snow? Because this is a decent one, right? Good. Good snow. Yeah. We've been waiting for this. The right amount, too. It's oh, not yeah. Gonna, you yeah. Know, we like this the kind of The kids have snow. been waiting for it. Listen, it's. I'm going to call it now. Superintendents, be darned. It's going to be a snow day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah. just don't think you know, nobody got to Especially because we haven't used it. And, that's right. Right. and I you said know. to somebody the other we day that, that I ran up. into, uh, I was talking to, a, to a, a viewer, a fan of the show, and I said, well, uh, they're going to be uh, school on Tuesday. No, you know, we have too many in the bank. And, you know, I think superintendents are just going to go, you know, call it a day. Uh, we are going to get snow uh, uh, later on the night my midnight is when it's really going to pick up and that'll go into tomorrow morning uh, widespread widespread first time this season four to eight inches of snow uh, that's going to make travel obviously uh, tough tonight tough tomorrow morning and throughout the day as it takes road crews to clean up the the scene out there the doppler around here is quiet but here's your incoming storm it's impressive severe thunderstorms uh, over the land tornado warnings too over the last 24 hours from this now by the time it gets into some cold air it is just going to be snow for us it is nothing else than that uh, it's beautiful out there now hartford 31 new haven at 30 degrees rest of the board down to 24 in torrington 25 in uh, the brass city of waterbury we're at 30 new haven in Groton and 28 over at the Frog Bridge. Here it is. Winter storm warnings in effect. What does that mean? Let me remind you again at the end of February. Uh, warning means it's happening next 24 hours. So you got the day to prepare, uh, but uh, by this time tomorrow morning, we're going to likely be knee deep in snow. I don't see it changing under any circumstance. It would have to be a shocking change. 29 now clear skies, mostly cloudy. We'll add to clouds later on as we get to near 40 degrees. All right, let's talk about the roads. Uh, take it easy today because tomorrow you're going to be working some overtime. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> as of right now, Matt, like you said, today quiet. Tomorrow Tomorrow, a very different story. <laughs> I can't, I can't imagine that tomorrow is going to be quiet out on the roadways. But as of right now, things are actually looking really good. Let's bring you out to Meriden, where we did have some construction on the northbound side of I-91, causing some severe delays. Now you can see all green. That means go. Traffic is moving freely now. The construction has cleared, and things are looking good. In the Hartford area, 9184 Route 2 over into the capital city, all looking good. Even heading over the Bulkley Bridge, no delays to report. Down in the New Haven area. 91 over to I-95 looking great this morning. 95 northbound moving smoothly and also I-95 as you're heading into Fairfield County. Looks good until you hit the Bridgeport area. That's where you're starting to see that heavier volume out there as you can see on your screen. On the southbound side of I-95 right now, the Merritt Parkway is not looking too bad. We'll check in again on the roads with any updates coming up in the next half hour. For now, Tim and Eric, I'll send things back over to you. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. Well, it is set to be a very busy day for road crews all around the state as they get ready for tonight's big snowstorm. Also this morning, AAA has some reminders for all of you just to avoid any issues out there driving tomorrow. So Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro is joining us live right outside the Department of Transportation garage in East Hartford with much more on what they're doing there. Angela, good morning. Erica, Tim, good morning. These plows, as you can imagine, they are going to be doing their part to keep everybody safe on those roadways. And drivers also have to do their part as well. The main message this morning, the main reminder is to use caution, of course. It's been a while. We've barely had any chances to flex those snow driving skills this winter. But that snow over the weekend, that was a good reminder of the dangers that winter weather can present on these roadways. Take a look at this for yourself. This was a very scary scene this past Saturday as that snow fell. This was after a Jeep skid off the road and flipped over on I-84. 
between Bristol and Southington. Now, these pictures show the Good Samaritans who jumped into action to pull two women out of that Jeep. We spoke with the father and the son who rushed over to help. Take a listen. Nobody was moving out of the car. Nobody was, the, no doors were opening. So I had my, my son who was driving. I said, listen, pull over real quick. So we pulled over to the side of the road and before I could turn around, he was out of the car running towards the, the Jeep that had flipped over. Yeah, just an incredible story right there and a reminder of the dangers on those roadways. Luckily, everybody was safe in that situation. Those two women did get out OK. But to avoid those dangers on the road, AAA does have some reminders about driving in winter weather. The first one, of course, is to stay home if you can. Only go out if necessary. The second reminder is to drive slowly and accelerate and decelerate slowly. You can apply the gas slowly to regain traction and avoid those skids, but do not try to get moving in a hurry. And remember, it takes longer to slow down on those icy roads. And that third reminder, increase your following distance to five or six seconds. That increased margin of safety that will provide the longer distance that is needed if you do have to make that sudden stop. And two other things to check on this morning ahead of that snow falling later tonight into tomorrow. Make sure those tires are properly flated and also make sure you have at least half a tank of gas in your car as well, according to AAA. We are live in East Hartford this morning. I'm Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Okay, Angelo, thank you for that update. It's been a while since we've had to keep these things in mind, it right? It sure has. <laughs> All right. Well, of course, the snow on the way is a welcome sight for ski resorts, but they have had to scramble a bit this year. At least, though, in Ski Sundown in New Hartford, they said they've been able to manage this season. We took uh, advantage of every opportunity that we had to make snow, and um, we were able to build up a really great base to get us through some of the rainier and warmer weather. That being said, officials at Ski Sundown said the more snow, the better. Well, our team is certainly working hard tracking this storm. Remember, you can get weather updates uh, sent right to your phone to see what you can expect in your neighborhood by downloading the free Fox 61 News app. Use a QR code right there on your screen if you haven't done it already. Developing this morning in New Britain, a female student at Central Connecticut State University was found dead in one of the dorms. In an email to the school, the president of the university said the student was found unresponsive on Sunday morning. Police were called and started CPR. They then took the student to the hospital. She was pronounced dead there. No word on her official cause of death yet, and police are still investigating. And a Hartford now where a woman was shot over the weekend. Police responded to Weathersfield Avenue at about 10 a.m. Sunday and found the woman who was in her 20s. This happened yesterday. She was in critical condition at the hospital. No word on her condition this morning and no word on a search for a suspect. At the state capitol today, lawmakers will hear testimony on a bill that would create a $250 refundable child tax credit. As written, the credit would apply up to three children, and keep in mind your income has to be under a certain amount. For unmarried people or people, uh, married people who are filing separately, that would be under $100,000. Comptroller Sean Scanlon is one of the people testifying in favor of it. Today's hearing is expected for nine this morning at the Legislative Office Building. And also happening, supporters and opponents are expected to speak about a bill that would provide aid in dying to terminally ill adult patients. Now, as written, this measure would define an adult as someone at least 21 years old, and it would also lay out the extensive steps a person would need to go through to qualify for aid in dying, as well as the safeguards put into place. Today's testimony is expected to begin at 10 a.m. in the Legislative Office building. Now, you may remember this measure was brought up last legislative session. It did not make it past a committee vote. Well, today in Groton, officials with General Dynamics Electric Boat will share the company's plans for the new year. State Rep Joe Courtney and Electric Boat's president are expected to speak. Last year, Electric Boat won a $5.1 billion commitment to buy, build five new submarines to replace the Ohio-class submarines.
609 right now and today the Office of Higher Education will begin its education fair to help Stone Academy students after the sudden closure of their school earlier this month. Now the event is going to be held at 450 Columbus Boulevard in Hartford and that's where former students can explore what other educational options are available to them. It's going to happen today through March 1st. The OHE says the Lincoln Technical Institute, Griffin Hospital School of Allied Health Careers, Porter and Chester Institute, and also the National Guard will all be attending, as well as admission officials from the state's community college system. And also happening today, the governor is announcing his proposal to create the English Learners Bill of Rights. As proposed, it would protect the rights of English learners to receive an education in the state's public schools. The governor's office also says it would make those rights clear to students, parents, teachers, and administrators. Today's announcement is set for 11 o'clock this morning in Bridgeport.